Okay, YouTube, this is to test out my newly wired winch on my Jeep. I just finished wiring it up. Got a uh, disconnect solenoid, which will be connected to a switch inside the cab, but for the moment, we just temporary it with that. And you've got a 500 amp fuse here. Which that floating connection I don't really care for. It's not doesn't make me too happy, but it'll do for the moment. Power goes up there through a four gauge wire, goes through the solenoid, and then I've got a two gauge that runs forward to the two gauge runs there along there, and you can see the ground cable also next to it. It goes down in here. and out to the winch itself. This is an update several days later, and since YouTube doesn't allow me to revise a video, I'll have to edit this in, then can the original. What I have done, if I can get in here, it's hard to tell, but that is the ground connection for the winch. There's now two ground wires connected to it. The one that you've already seen that goes all the way back to the battery, and this second one, which is in the foreground, and it loops up and goes down and goes straight to ground on the side of the frame right there. Number four wire. That is actually the best way from an electrical standpoint to connect this winch because there is no way any practical size cable is going to have as low an impedance as the frame of the vehicle does. However, running the cable straight back to the battery is far more reliable because a connection like this one that you're looking at can get corroded, especially on a Jeep when it gets wet. So I have connected this ground wire up and left the original wire running back to the battery. So I have the best of both worlds. In order for a ground connection like that to be fully operational, it would necessitate replacing the master ground wire from the negative battery terminal that goes to the engine block with at least a number four wire, maybe even a number two. What's on there right now appears to be a number six. So I will be changing that out just for sake of completeness but you can also see the number four ground wire, or I sh should really call that a negative wire that goes all the way out to the winch. And I lastly, I also was able to stabilize this floating splice on the fuse so that it won't wiggle around and eventually vibrate and break I put that strap on the side of the metal bracket that the power distribution center is on. So that completes this revision. Goddess bless and all the rest.